Greetings, wanderers of the digital world. Teddy here, your navigator for today's journey into the vast expanse of computer science. Today we're diving into the fundamentals, the building blocks that underpin this influential field. So fasten your seatbelts and let's get started. In the beginning, we have the computer. Now, what is a computer? Simply put, a computer is an electronic device designed to manipulate data or information. Its primary purpose is to solve problems by processing information based on instructions given to it. Next, we delve into the core components of a computer. These are the hardware and the software. The hardware refers to the tangible parts of the computer, the parts you can touch. This includes the central processing unit, the monitor, the keyboard, and the mouse, among others. The software, on the other hand, is the intangible part. It's the programs and applications that run on the hardware and perform various tasks. Now, let's discuss the concept of input and output. Input, in computer science, refers to data that a computer receives. It could be through a keyboard, a mouse, or a microphone. Output, conversely, is the information that the computer delivers after processing the input. This could be in the form of text on the screen, sound through speakers, or printed documents. Then we come to the concept of algorithms. An algorithm is a set of instructions designed to perform a specific task. It's like a recipe. Just like how a recipe tells you step by step how to make a dish, an algorithm tells a computer step by step how to perform a certain task. Lastly, we delve into programming languages. These are the tools we use to communicate with computers and instruct them to perform tasks. There are many different programming languages, each with its own strengths and weaknesses, but all serve the purpose of translating our instructions into a form that computers can understand. All right, time for a quick recap. Today, we've covered the basics of computer science. We started by defining what a computer is, then we moved on to the key components of a computer, namely the hardware and the software. We then explored the concepts of input and output, learned about algorithms, and got a brief introduction to programming languages. Remember, computer science is a vast and ever-evolving field. What we've discussed today merely scratches the surface. But don't be overwhelmed. Every expert was once a beginner. Keep exploring, keep learning, and you'll find that the world of computer science is full of exciting opportunities and challenges. This is Teddy, signing off for now. Stay curious, stay hungry. Until next time, keep exploring the digital world.